Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the rhetorical question power of 4. Okay, I think uh, we can solve this question with bitwise operation like this. So this is a uh, one time, but uh, in real interviews, I've never seen someone who solved the question uh, with bitwise operations. So I'll show you another way. Instead of bitwise operation, uh, I think uh, each programming language has like a math log function. So we use it. So for example, Python has a math log and uh, this number should be n. And this question is power of 4, so that's why I put 4 here. So this function calculates the logarithm of n to the base 4. So for example, 16 4 should be 2.0. So we will get the answer with like a float. So 15 and 4 is 1.93, or something. And uh, simply, if the decimal part is 0, so we can return 2, right? If not, like a 1.5344, um, we should return false, right? And to check the decimal part, so we can, so in Python, we have is integer function. So we can use that. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So with that being said, let's get into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. Coding is very easy. So first of all, if n is less than or equal zero, in that case, we can immediately return false, false, and then return mass.log, and uh, put n here, and uh, 4 is integer. Yeah, I think that's it. So let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of log n, and the space complexity is 01. And, uh, in this solution, we use a built-in function. So I'm not sure we can use the built-in function in the other interview, just ask interviewer. So if you cannot use the built-in function, um, you can uh, write a code like this. So I'll show you how. OK, let's write a code without a built-in function. If n is less than or equal 0, we can immediately return false. If n equal 1, we can immediately return true. If not the case, while n is greater than 1, we continue uh, iteration. And uh, if it's not a multiple of 4, we can return false. So if n divide 4 is not equal 0, in that case, we should return false. If not the case, so divide by 4, so n and slash slash equal 4. And then we should return true. Yeah, that's it. So let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity and the space complexity is the same. Time is uh, order of log n and the space is O1. Yeah, that's all I have for you today. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next question.